everyone it's Tremia and it's actually Saturday night in the big town and um, I just felt like making a video um, today was a pretty fun day uh, this morning we got up and uh, I got ready and even put on some makeup you can tell I have some left over <laughs> some still left over it was so hot it just felt like your face was melting off but it was an extremely hot day and the sun was completely out and I had on my sunscreen but I can tell you know the photosensitivity it's already gotten to me um, but first off I had to go um, my driver's license um, it needs to be renewed this month because of my birthday and so we went to get that done and I didn't even think about it because we had talked about it the other day that we were going to do it and this morning we just kind of headed out without saying where we were going what we were going to do and we drive past the one in our neighborhood and um, it's a really nice small tag agency quick you get in you get out and we were even at the stoplight and I sat there and I looked at the tag agency and did not even think about going in and getting my driver's license. It thought didn't even cross my mind. And that's an, one thing that I hate about lupus is things like that. And um, so we'd drive on, you know, down the road and then it's like, hey, <laughs> you know, we need to do this. And we're already in another part of town. So, um, we try one tag agency and we could pull up and it's closed on Saturdays. We go to the next one and it says it's open till one. And so we get out of the car. We had the handicap parking there was the worst I've ever seen. And we've had to park a little bit of distance away. So um, we had a handicap spot where the wheelchair could get up next to the car. And so we get out and my husband's pushed me along and we hit kind of like a pothole that threw me forward about went out of the wheelchair and we finally we make it down there and try to open the door and it's closed and so all that work getting in and out of the car we have to go back and then um, we go to another tech agency which is in more downtown and so like it was busy we get in there and you know there are tons of people but um we're probably 20 minutes and they call me to take my picture for my license and they take my picture and do my fingerprints and i didn't match up it wouldn't approve me and then so they go well we'll take your picture again and they take my picture again and my looks have changed so much from four years ago to now with all the swelling that the computer and stuff would not identify me as myself and so they have to call in for an override but they can't do that on Saturdays so all of that work and I still have to start all over <laughs> and so I'll go I have to go on a weekday and I'll go to ours over here in the neighborhood and get it done and then after that um, we went to the mall and you know getting in back in and out of the the hot sun oh it was just miserable um, but my husband I love my husband he took me to the makeup counters I had my little list from watching all the beauty people on YouTube this week of what I wanted to kinda look at and um, there's this one MAC lipstick called I Like It Like That. And that's one of my mom's favorite sayings. And so I went and bought her the lipstick, but it's so pretty. It's like, <laughs> I'm kind of tempted to keep it for myself. <laughs> but uh, I will, I'll give it to my mom. Um, but, you know, we looked at several different counters. And it's funny because you can tell when salespeople are... Uh, working on commission because I walked up I think it was the Chanel counter and I said I want to look at your lip liner in the color nude 
And so we get it and she puts it on the back of my hand. And I have a hard time because like stuff will turn orangey on me and I need stuff with uh, more of a berry undertone instead of a coral undertone. And so it turned orange. So we went through and tried about five different things and didn't like any of them. And I told her, I said, thank you. And she goes, so you're buying the the nude lip the nude lip liner and I said no <laughs> I said no I didn't like it you know but and then at, at the Mac counter um the usually there's this guy that waits on me and he was busy with the customer and then there's this other girl that helped me once and she walked out and said hello but another girl was ahead of her and she's kind of waiting on us so it's like everybody was you know they're trying to get trying to get you your cert your um oh they want you to they want me to buy from them i can't think of the right words but um so didn't have any luck at the mac counter except for the lipstick for my mom and i've been looking at some watches like uh, they're made out of ceramic, a white ceramic, and but they're like 250 at least minimum. They're ceramic watch. You can get the resin one, and it feels almost like a Mickey Mouse watch. I mean, it's just they're so lightweight, but you know they're like half the price, but they're not. I guess wouldn't be the quality, but it's like. Uh, how long would a white watch is you know is it more trendy you know I don't want to spend like high dollars on something trendy I'd rather for it to be something you know classic that I can keep and wear and then um, we went uh, past BC Clark if you're in Oklahoma you know what I'm talking about um, the song automatically glows in your head the Christmas song but um, there's some really pretty beautiful necklaces and stuff but I'm having a hard time wearing necklaces because of the port that that port goes up through my neck there and like the necklaces hit it and it just you know it's irritating I'm aware of it so I'm leaning more towards bracelets and um, so I looked at some, you know, some pretty bracelets. I got me a, uh, in Diller, it's just a new pair of sterling silver earrings because that's all I can wear. Other, I, I can wear gold earrings, but um, anything other than that, if they make my ears like get infected, you know, it's more than, more than an allergy. It really, really bothers them. So, but that was our day, and then on the way back home, we stopped at um, a place that says, you know, they have the best sandwiches in the city, and they really, really do, and my husband went in and got me um, a club sandwich and got him some pizza, and boy, that I scarfed down that sandwich, and also I've been on the kick of ice. I have been craving ice, um, and my doctor said that that's a sign of like iron deficiency or anemia and so they took my blood work and I haven't heard back from him yet but I just been really craving ice and our dog buddy today he got groomed and he's all beautiful and he's got his little he has like a little goatee we call it the Fu Manchu but um that was my day then I got home and I slept the rest of the day until my husband woke me up for supper tonight and now it's time to go back to bed but my butterfly rash is really trying to come out I don't want it to um, but I guess I just wanted to talk and say hi and um, my 10 minutes are about up so I guess I'll see you guys in the next video bye bye